Here's a quick tip on how to shell a closed poly surface or a solid in Rhino 7. Um, it, unlike in SolidWorks, you cannot shell um, a, comp a closed poly surface and have the insides be hollow. So uh, just to demonstrate how the, uh, the shell command would work, I'm going to create a cube here, right? And so the, the shell command is under the solid tools. And it is this one here that just look, looks like a, uh, a nut, a shell closed poly surface. You have to select a face. Um, I've got a thickness here of one. I'm going to hit enter. And there we go. I've got uh, a shelled object. If I do that with, um, I'm going to repeat that command. If I do it with this object, um, uh, it's like in this case, you know, you're always, not always going to get the result you want. In this case, I've got two um, to open poly surfaces and I'd have to close them and then I'd have to add the surface in. That's quite a long way around. There are much easier ways. So I'm going to delete this one. Uh, the way I'm going to show you relies on offsetting the surface. The offset surface command, if it's if you don't have my toolbars, is under the uh, the, here, the solid tools, I think. No, it's the surface tools. Um, and it's that one there, offset surface. So it'll ask you which surfaces you, or poly surfaces you wish to offset. That's that one. When I say enter, you'll get these normals. That, they show you in which direction you're going to offset. We want to flip them. So we're going to go to this end command and say flip all. And then in the options, you can change the distance. So um, you could actually just type it in over here. Let's make it 1.5. There we go, let's change it for you to 1.5. Make sure the corners, corners are sharp. They could be rounded, actually, if you wanted to, but just for this exercise. And then really make sure that the solid yes is on. Um, okay, and then I'm going to click OK. It'll think for a second. And so now I have one um, poly surface inside the other. There we go, there's that inside one. Let's just drag it out so you can see it. I'm going to Control Z. Um, so now we want to subtract the one from the other, but uh, we're, we're going to use the the uh, um, Boolean difference tool here that takes one from the other. We can try it. Uh, I'll show you that it doesn't work just so that you know that. So here's the outer one. I'm going to say OK when it's selected. Then it's going to say select the ones that you want to subtract with. So I'm going to drag select to see if I can get the inside one. There we go. And I'm going to say OK. It'll think for a second. And if we try the clipping plane, clipping plane is like uh, the um, section view in SolidWorks. Uh, I'm going to the side view just so that it's easier to place it. And there we go. I've got my items clipped. If I drag this item out, you can see there it is complete. You, I'm left with a solid. Um, all right, so I'm going to control Z just to get that back. Let's get this out of the way. So the way to do this is to add a, a little something which sticks out from the inner, inner object and interferes with the outside one. So the two interfere with one another. So I'm going to hide this. I'm going to use my hide command, control H, or you can do it up here. So that is hidden. So now we have the inside one. And I want to add a little pip or a little boss uh, on the outside. I'm going to go to my construction plane, create a circle, drag it down so that I have a solid cylinder. And then I'm going to drag this cylinder up a little bit so that I know it's going to interfere with the outside shape. Now we can combine these two solids, that one and that one by using the boolean union command right so i have one solid and i can unhide by saying Control shift h or right clicking here show objects this one here select it okay um now we want to take one from the other so instead of combining them as boolean union we're going to boolean difference so if i select that command the first thing it'll ask me for is which surface do you want to keep? That's this one. Say yes. Which one, next one is which one do you want to subtract with? You can delete input yes or no. Um, I'm going to say yes. So I'm going to select this one here. It'll think for a second. And voila, we have a shelled surface. Let's have a look using the clipping plan. CLI, 
enter go to the front view or the side view go back to this view and revolve and look at that we have a shelled item so if you want to get rid of the hole um, that's also very easy you go to the solid tool um, you go to the bottom solid solid edit tools you go to holes now you won't be able to see the delete hole command here so i'm going to show you in the tab solid tools it's this one here with a red cross delete hole and i just select any of these edges and it'll magically make the hole disappear look at that right so um i'm going to backtrack a bit so that i can show you the other method so control z z z um i think we need to do one or two more one two three there we go so i don't want that one and i want to just show that object so i've got two objects again right so let me show you the second method in the second method we're going to use the um wire cut tool uh, if to find that without referring to my toolbar group you go to the solid tools and then here it is wire cut um, i've created a line which is lined up with the center of this object or lined up with my x-axis i'm going to select that line make sure the line extends beyond the bounds of the object you want to you cut in this case you don't always have to do that depending on what you want to achieve say yes select the outside shape say yes right then you'll get this bounding box you can drag it to wherever you want but don't drag it lower in this case we want to we want to cut the whole thing in half right um, and before we proceed just to have a look at the top the options delete input no we don't want to delete both sides no make sure it's not on yes make sure it's on no and keep all yes okay so then you can drag this out to either side makes no difference so now i have two separate poly surfaces uh plus an inner one right so i want to now subtract the um inner ones the inner one from the outer two so i'm going to go to this command here boolean difference and i will select the two outside poly surfaces and then i'll say enter and then I'm going to carefully select the inside one, right? And then I'm going to say delete input. I'm going to just say no for now. Um, and then hit enter. It'll think for a, a few seconds. And so if I drag this out, you'll see it's actually done a great job. Look at that. Um, there's a slight comp complication with this in that, let me, uh, God, I can't do that. All right, the slight complication is now, if I want to, um, reconnect these two which is what i need to do um, if i try and use the boolean union tool um, it's going to tend to want at least in this model to fill the whole lot in again so let's just get my inner self out of the way and let's put a clipping plane on this just to show you that i'm know what i'm talking about so go back to that one there there we go you see so it's solid right um so the way to get around that if you want to follow this method because this method might be good in other instances i'm going to delete this inner one right, go away okay so what you have to do now is you have to explode these two and then rejoin them as surfaces if i join them now they'll it'll have worked at least i hope it will my reputation is at stake here. Let's go. There we go. Okay. So that's the way you do it. If you really want to follow that method, as I say, it could be useful in other situations. It's much longer than the first method I showed, I think. And I hope you agree. Uh, happy modeling. Thanks for watching.